students at Baylor, Nevada, the Hamilton Tiger Cats, the BC Lions, and the Montreal Alouettes. Right? Defensive linemen and uh, all the defense who've been uh, working with Coach Wenick this week as a coordinator know that he's a very uh, excellent football coach. And uh, we call him, he's very mystical too. All right? He's got some martial arts in him, he's got some Bruce Lee, little Bruce Lee in him, and, uh, and he's got some, a little special presentation for you guys tonight, special treat, so we saved the best for last, Coach Don Wenick. I want to thank you all first for your efforts and how hard you guys played and your entire, just your attitudes are just super. I'm really proud of you guys, did a great job. And I hope that you're going to remember this experience for the rest of your life. I really feel that you will. The, the contacts you make, the friends you make here in football and in sport, they're going to last a lifetime. I still keep in contact with my teammates from high school and college. You're going to be amazed at the, at the bonding you have in this, in this sport, in intercollegiate athletics. The competition you have here, the competition cannot be matched in life. This is the greatest form of competition. It's so intense once you get into competitive athletics. It's not the same when you go golfing with your buddies when you're 19, when you're 25 years old, or after you get later in life. This is a very short period of your life. It's a small, small window. Willing that you'll be have a long, great life. But the span of your life kind of goes, hopefully you're going to have that. Your sports life and your competitive life you need to take advantage of every opportunity that you have and relish in the competition because you're not going to be able to enjoy it as you get older. This is a very, very special time of your life. Meeting friends, meeting these great coaches, all this association this is going to really enrich what you have. And you're very fortunate and lucky to be able to do it. So have that attitude of gratitude that you have that because you're going to look around in life and find out that most other people, a lot of other people, are going to have it a lot worse than you. Regardless of what's going on, you're very fortunate in where you are right now. But as you look around and life works on you, you're going to find out that there's going to be highs and there's going to be lows. But overall, as you look around, you're going to realize you're very fortunate. We're living in a wonderful country. We have all the comforts we have here. And even though whatever goes on in your life as you get older, there's always going to be somebody that's going to have it just a little bit worse. In the meantime, you're going to be continue to be gratitude and be grateful for everything you've got. And I know that you guys will. And that's another lesson that you'll have as you get older and as you learn competitive sports. When things go up and down, yin and yang, you've heard that. And you realize that in this life, there's going to be good times and there's going to be bad times. There's going to be times of uh, great expectation and times of disappointment. There's going to be great wealth and there might be poverty. You'll have health. There might be sickness, but you're going to get through all this because of what? Because of you're determined and you're going to have that will that you're going to overcome that. And at some point in your life, you're going to be able to see that you're going to, that you are going to overcome this. And you're going to overcome this with your desire, with your effort, your attitude, and hopefully enough help from up above that you're going to overcome these things. It's all going to become better because things do do this. You'll know that as you get older, as you talk to your parents, talk to other adults in your life, you're going to realize that they're going through the same thing. Well, I got little issues, well, it seems to work out. Life has seasons. But if you look here at this, you realize here that sometimes you're on top of the world. The world is below you. And everything you're doing is working. And life seems to be good. But as you get older, you're going to find you're going to have challenges in your life. And life's on top of you. But what are you going to do? When you're looking up and the world is upon you, you're going to realize that through your faith, through the help of your friends, and through the love of the people that are on top of you and that mean things to you, that you're ultimately going to work through all this, hopefully, and you're going to get that great <laughs> on top. I hope it works. And it does. That things do change. And you have yin and yang through your parents, through the adults in your life, you wind up on top again. Things get better. This is the 
flow and the ebb of flow of life. And the important things that you have in life is the love that you express and how you serve others. Ultimately, you're going to be there. I want to thank you for your attention. I hope all this made sense to you. I wish you good luck for the rest of your life.